Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you how to run a large language model on the MPU of the Rockchip RK3588. So on Reddit, you have this Rockchip MPU community. And here they tell you that you can use the Ubuntu 24.04 image by Joshua Rieck for the Rockchip RK3588 single board computers. And it has the NPU driver version 0.9.6. And there's also here someone showing it that it is running Llama 2 7 billion parameter file or model file. And it was done with this program, Easy RK NPU, which actually consists of two sub submodules. Easy RK and an LLM and the toolkit. Now I had some problems with installing and running Easy RK MPU, but in the end I did manage to get just the LLM submodule working. So that one is here. And it seems that they are still changing things and sometimes one model file does work and others don't and with a newer or older version it's the other way around so depending on the model file that you want to run it might not work with the current version so you can just uh, clone the GitHub repository and you can change into that directory. Well, at least for me, trying to run Llama 2, 7 billion parameter file, I had to fall back to the version from before the 9th of May. So, now if we do another one, so let's just say you have cloned the repository into this directory. So you can say I want the version from before the 9th of May 2024. So you get this string. And with that string, you can go back to an older version. And yeah, I think you have to run the install script as sudo. like this. Uh, I'm not going to run this because uh, I already installed it. I already compiled it. And as you can see here, I tried to test it and well, I needed some help from the developer. And one of the things is that uh, it seems it wants to have, let's just say, parallel access to the model file. And if you start it directly without changing anything, uh, you might run into this error. And then it also says too many open files. 
So what you can do is change the U limit to, for instance, 16,384, because default it's 1,024, and that is not enough, at least not for the bigger model files. So here you can see that I already started it uh, because it takes a couple of minutes before it actually starts. And also just to show you, um, at the moment it's not doing anything. So there's no load on the MPU and there's no noticeable load on the CPU. So just to show you that it's really running on the MPU and not on the CPU. So here you can see that there's still no serious load on the CPU. And as you can see here that now there is load on the MPU. And I have a USB-C cable with a display showing the wattage. And I'm not really sure how accurate it is, but of course it uh, will give you an indication. And when it's running the LLM on the MPU, it shows me around 8 watts. And when I run, for instance, Olama running on the CPU, I have around 12 watts. So you can see that the MPU is more power efficient. Now, the MPU driver is not um, really good for the bigger models. Uh, at least the last time I checked, then it will stop at number four with this question. And I guess that it just cuts it off at some point. So because this is not the end of the answer. Now to show you that it actually can answer something fully we'll ask it something a bit more simple and it's also usual that the bigger the model file the bigger the answer that you get. So here you can see that it does and gracefully. And one of the things that I want to show you also is what if we try this with Olama? So I already installed Olama with the Llama 2 7 billion parameter model file.
So now with Olama, you can see that there's no load on the MPU. And well, just to be sure, yeah, now we're really sure that it's running. Still nothing on the MPU. But you can see that there are four cores that are, well, practically on 100% load. So you can definitely see the difference between Olama that runs on the CPU and when you can run it on the NPU. So I'll just um, let it run to show you that it does go further with 0.4. And well, I assume it's just one of the issues with the rock chip NPU driver um, that apparently it doesn't like like it when it needs to give a very long answer but it does work with the shorter answers so anyone that wants to play around with the NPU for instance with the rock chip RK3588 yeah I think it's a good idea just to uh, have a look around what uh, is happening here. And one other thing is that um, it does need converted model files. So when you're in the Easy RK MPU GitHub repository, there is a link to the converted files. So for instance, I went with Llama to 7 billion parameters. So you can go to files and versions and then download it here. And meanwhile, well, this one has a different number four thing but you can see that it just keeps going and going and going so but I guess that you were able to see the difference between running it on the CPU and running it on the NPU so that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video